Hi, my name is Jen, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a very easy, quick, and delicious dessert to share with your family and friends. It's called Delicious Cheesecake Dip. Ooh la la. You will need cream cheese, sour cream, milk, vanilla, sugar, and some fruit. I've got green and apples, I've got strawberries, and I might put some mandarins in there for colour because they're in season now. And I could possibly add something crunchy like pretzels. When I think of the word dessert, I remember my lovely primary school teacher and principal, Mr. Vandershaw, who taught us how to remember to spell dessert. He said, dessert is spelled with two S's. We can remember dessert has two S's because everyone wants two servings of dessert. So it's easy to spell dessert, two S's for two servings. This little spelling rule is also handy for remembering how to spell the word desert. The desert is a dry and barren place. It only has one S. This week, all over the world, people are reading from Deuteronomy, which is one of the first books of the Bible. You can read it also in Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1, to chapter 3, verse 22. The reason I mention this is because the Israelite people in the story in Deuteronomy this week have been in the desert a long time. Now, we've just learnt to spell the word desert with one S. But these Israelite people have had a long time in the desert, 40 years. That's one very big serving of desert. So here they are, right at the edge of the promised land. They've been in the desert 40 years. And before they go any further, God tells Moses to tell those Israelites all about their history in the desert. I love that. Just yesterday, my children were looking through old photos together and remembering their history together. Do you have an old photo album you like to look through and remember? Now, the stories that Moses tells are important ones. It will help them if they listen to him. And God wants them to learn from the retelling of their history. I think we can all learn from history. We have an uncle in our family, and he has many funny things happen to him in the kitchen. One of our favourite stories of this uncle is the story of roast lamb. One day, this uncle decided to make his family a fabulous roast lamb. It was time to remove the roast lamb from the oven, and the delicious roast meat smells were wafting through the air. As uncle took the tray with the roast lamb out of the oven, he did so just a little too vigorously. Off slid the roast lamb onto the tiled kitchen floor. It slid across the tiles into the lounge room. It gathered speed like a polished puck on the ice and slid right out the back door into the patio and under a bush. What lesson do you think dear uncle learnt that day? Perhaps he learnt to carry the tray carefully. Another kitchen story of our dear uncle was his power shake recipe. He read the ingredients and when it said chilled water, he realised I don't have chilled water. Oh, oh, I do have soda water in the fridge. Hmm, that will do. He measured his soda water into the container and put the lid on, shook the container vigorously. The pressure built and the lid exploded with force and the ingredients flew up onto the ceiling and splattered everywhere. Silly uncle. I don't think he did that again. I have a feeling it was a big mess to clean up. Perhaps he learnt to follow the recipe. 
I think the Israelites too were being reminded not to make a mess of things, to follow God's instructions and to learn from the mistake in their history so that it would go well for them in this new land God had promised them. It's interesting that even though the Israelites were reminded of God's instructions and their history lessons by Moses a long time ago, they're still relevant to us today. Jesus says, if you love me, follow my commandments. The Israelites' history lesson from Moses in Deuteronomy chapters 1 to 3 reminds us that we can show our love to God by trusting him and doing what he's instructed us to do. It's like a recipe for a sweet dessert. So let's get cooking. First, we are going to whiz up the cream cheese. It's a good idea to leave it out of the fridge until it's soft. I'm using a mixing machine uh, for about 30 seconds. That's looking smooth. Now I'm going to add two thirds of a cup of sour cream, a quarter of a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So let's dollop that yummy dip into a bowl and arrange our colourful, lovely variety of fruit on a platter. And can you help put some strawberries over here? Here we go. Mm -hmm. We'll just tip some on. How about you help? Good, hey? Yeah. Mm hmm. Put some more apple. There we go. I'm going to put some pretzels on there too. Ben, do you want to put those pretzels on the edge there? It's okay. Pile them on. And here it is my delicious, easy, quick cheesecake dip. You can make this dip up to a week ahead and keep it in the fridge. But for me, I have a feeling it's not going to last that long.